Good morning class my students. How are you all? Welcome to English is fun with Miss Serena Hansen. Do you remember what we learned last week? Nouns. Under nouns today we are going to learn gender. Okay children. What does gender mean? The noun gender tells about the sex of the noun. In grammar, there are four genders. How many genders, children? Four. The first gender is the masculine gender. A noun is said to be in masculine or the male form if it refers to the male character or member of the species. Okay? Like man, lion, hero, boy, king, horse. Or an actor. Okay. They are nouns of the male gender or the masculine gender. Example, a boy is playing in the playground. Okay. The word, the sentence, hero of the movie is not a native of this country. So, in these sentences, the words boy and hero are masculine gender nouns. Next. We have the feminine gender. A noun is said to be in the feminine gender when it refers to the female member of the species. Any species, okay? So, for example, woman, lioness, heroine, girl, mare. What's a mare? A female horse. Niece, empress, cow and actress are a few female gender nouns, okay? Now here is an example. A girl and the word heroine are all the feminine gender nouns. Okay children? Now let's move on to the third type of gender. The third gender is the common gender. A noun is said to be in common gender if it refers to a member of species which can be a male or a female. Okay? When I use the word mother, it's a female gender. When I use the word father, it's a male gender, okay? But when I use the word child, okay, the, ch the word child can refer to a male or a female. When I say student, it can refer to a male or a female. So, here are some more examples. Friend, applicant, candidate, servant, member, parliamentarian and leader. Okay, so they can belong to a male gender or a female gender. So, such words are called as, such nouns are called as common gender. Okay, the fourth gender is called the neuter gender. So, children, what's a neuter gender? A noun is said to be in neuter gender if the member of the species which is neither a male not a female. Okay, so I cannot tell you that it's a female gender or a male gender. Such an uh, object is called a neuter gender. It is lifeless. Okay, lifeless objects are in neuter gender. Some examples. Chair, table, tree, your bed, okay, your toys, the mountain around you, the street, the book. Car, school, your pen and paper, the computer that you use, the phone in your hand. Okay, so these are all neuter genders we use regularly. Children, think of all the things that are around you. Okay, as you sit next to the window, you see trees. Okay, as you sit, as you uh, learn your lessons, you see the computer in front of you. At night, when you look out, at the sky, you see stars. Okay, your mother would have presented you some books. Okay, so these are all neuter gender. Okay, now I have some special words that come under neuter gender. What are they? Collective nouns. Okay, even if they refer to living beings are used under neuter gender. Okay, usually neuter, gen uh, neuter gender comes under non-living things. Okay, lifeless things. But here you should remember 
you should remember that collective nouns even if they refer to living beings okay that breathes okay are uh, they come under neuter nouns neuter gender example the army okay the army is a neuter gender because okay it can be there can be men as well as women in the army next the police the police is also a neuter gender because you might even have police women or police man so they all come under neuter gender okay in okay in this next slide you will find there are that there are some objects okay certain things certain words certain nouns that come under masculine gender okay objects like the sun summer time and death okay these words represent the masculine gender because they show something powerful or strong or violent so these words come under what gender kids masculine gender now let's uh, discuss this further okay the sun is so scorching scorching is nothing but very very hot that we cannot go out to face the sun or face him you can you should say face him because it comes under masculine gender yes face him without an umbrella okay and that's why it comes under masculine gender and then let's take the word death death is very cruel and you can say he is as certain as tomorrow in these sentences the word sun and death have been used as masculine gender now here are other examples that come under feminine gender okay feminine gender now objects noted for their beauty okay or gentleness or grace all come under feminine gender nouns okay examples for them are the moon the earth spring season charity okay and many more words that have this feminine feminine um, feel to it all come under feminine gender example the moon is so bright at this time that she induces romantic mood in us okay the earth is patient her beauty is spoiled day by day children i want you to take last year's book last year's grammar book and go through gender under the topic gender you will find all these things or even if you have your new book read the title okay read the content under the title gender and get back to me okay following this you will have a google form find do it and understand what the concept means gender bye children